this video I'm going to go over the servo configuration for a Pixhawk drone based on the Hubber Games drone kit for Challenge 2. The hardware for this setup is a NXP F Mach 66. It's running a Pixhawk stack. Um, I noticed that on YouTube there's a lack of servo setup for uh, Pixhawk flight control drones in general. So I decided to put together this video to show how easy it is to really configure the hardware and set up the aux ports in Q ground control. As a reference, I'm using the Q ground control daily build that's built from source and also using um, PX4 stack built from source uh, version 1.11.3. So the servos require 5 volt uh, to power. I'm using 5 volts off the ultrasonic connector on the, the FMUK, and uh, I'm not really using any of the other pins on there. The, I'm not, I don't have an ultrasonic sensor. So the first four PWM inputs on the FMUK is going to be the ESCs, electronic speed controllers, and then slots 5, that's going to be uh, my RC9. Slot 6 will be RC10. So once you pull up Q ground control, you're going to go to radio setup. Um, you're going to look at the additional radio setup. Set aux 1 pass through RC channel. That's going to be, as stated earlier, my channel 9. And then aux 2 pass through RC channel is going to be channel 10. And this is the only setup you're going to do in, in radio. Um, you're not going to do anything with the params, tuning, or anything. Moving on to the actual parameters uh, in cube ground control, you're going to go to the setup and uh, search for uh, keywords in the parameters. So I just did a MNT for mount. So my yaw on this, it's actually a servo turret, not a gimbal. So my yaw is going to be mapped to aux 1, which is channel 9 on the transmitter. And then the pitch, um, that's going to be aux 2, which is channel 10 on my transmitter. And you're going to want to set the mount mode into auto. All right, next order of business, you're going to search in that uh, search bar for RC underscore MAP, and it's going to pull up the aux one and aux two pass through RC channels. So we're going to map aux one to channel nine, aux two to channel ten, and that should be it. Uh, you can adjust the trims of the aux channels. Just keep in mind that if you do calibrate or recalibrate of your uh, ESCs, it's going to change your RC max, min, and trims. So if you manually have to adjust your servo max, mins, uh, it's going to get reset if you have to calibrate again. And so just a just a note, you're going to have to arm, uh, press the arming switch on the GPS in order to get servo signal. So once you arm, as you can see I've mapped channel 9, channel 10 on the transmitter is going to be my side scroll buttons. So my channel 9, which is the left hand scroll, it's going to be mapped to the yaw. Channel 10 is pitch. And uh, pretty easy, um, straightforward. It's not as difficult as um, it sounds. So hopefully you guys like this video. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Uh, check out my GitHub sponsors uh, profile, and I also write Medium articles. I'll link those in the description.